30 minutes, zero increment. Let's bring the knight out, attacking the pawn. Let's try something a bit different. Let's bring the bishop out. Let's take. Let's hit the pawn in the center. Don't need to move this quick, but um, I think it's fairly interesting. Take with the knight. And attack the pawn. It is defended twice, so they don't need to panic. They can simply push. Yeah, let's bring the knight back. So job's done. Right, queen potentially coming here. I'm liking the feel of this move because obviously it's like half open file. King's not got castle, so they're probably looking to castle on the queen side. Could develop knight up, but I'm plumping for the queen. Just to maybe give them things to think about. Not that they have to panic anything. Looking to potentially go here with the knight, if anything. Bishops attacking, X-raying through, kind of... You know, the bishop's got no protection on, so I think we're going to bring the knight here if we are looking to move the knight and attack, etc. Because the knight was blocking the way. Alright, so they've got an x ray through to our queen. So if we did do this, the knight can take and we can take the knight back, so that's no big issue. What else can they do? Can they do something funky? Because this is like attacking two pieces. So you would think that the knight would take because the rook has got the exchange here. We take, bishop takes, then the rook takes. So then they must be looking at getting doubled to attack the pawn with castle. Yeah, it could work. It looks a little bit sketchy, but it can work. I'm going to attack the knight. It's gone a different way. Gone a totally different way. Let's take the knight. We, we thought he was taking this, didn't we? What we're missing now then? Same process so far. Queen's no longer coming here now, putting pressure here because the knight's protecting that square. So I think they're going to hit the knight to get the knight out of the way. If you have a look at the move order of things, we're at kind of plus two from that. And it's not saying we've won, but it looked a bit strange the way they'd done that move order. It's tacking the rook now, it's got no protection on. So I think we go on castle. I think the rook's coming down to attack the queen. So he's getting the piece back. Knight's got to check on the king. Hit the queen. Boom, boom, boom. Bring the queen back. Nice, still getting the piece back. Okay, so there's magic in there positioning. I probably didn't do it correct, but it didn't feel like I could do anything else. All right, even exchange type thing. Funky way of going around it. Um, I'm thinking of how can I hit his queen, but I don't think I can. So where do I put my queen? Can't bring it here to attack the pawn. I can bring it here to attack their pawn, but he's going to be in front of our king so we're going to lose tempo we we'll go here takes and it's in front of our king let's go here there's nothing else to do on that score
Oh, that was a bit of a surprise, yeah. Because it was a totally different thing. We, we hadn't calculated them doing that. I think, if I remember, let's go back, look at the evaluation and see if we had done something slightly wrong in terms of being that piece up. And then maybe we could have done something a little bit better because I didn't see that they were getting the, the piece back. But in our calculations, we weren't a piece up anyway. Rooks in the centre of the board doesn't have any place being there. So trying to use that psychology now, he's probably going to try and swing his way across here to try and get safe to go back here. Could even go here actually attacking the queen. So two magic squares. Which one's he plumping for? This one I think because it's attacking the queen and it's stopping the queen from taking the pawn. So he's not done the attack yet, so we can take the pawn. But this play is a little bit shifty, aren't they? But we'll take the pawn anyway. Because the rook is still in the centre of the ball. But it does have this, as we said, two safe squares to go to. It's not doing any of that at the minute. And I'm, I'm, my brain's thinking, how can I block all these off? But I can't. So he's going for an exchange. And nobody's a plus anything. Could bring the queen back attacking the rook but like we said he does have the safe spot gonna take these kind of games kind of end up in draws really don't they we could hit this so it's gonna be safe here it's gonna be safe there now it's protecting hmm. if we hit rook comes knight comes here we've got the support Managing squares. And I like it, I like it. Let's hit it anyway. One of these. Sometimes panic and think, oh, it's traps. So we're wanting to jump here, get the rook, maybe attacking their rook. Do that first maybe as well just attack the rook just attack the rook attack it takes rook takes let's attack it takes doesn't go for it it's attacking the pawn can simply push the pawn up is there anything else no forks there is a fork but that damn pawn's in the way he's ended up in that spot we mentioned right at the very beginning so there is a fork still but uh, I think we'll try and just go this way or shall we just look to double up first Keep this in the back pocket and it's moving quick. Ah, oh, it's Rook's getting involved, isn't it? It's making itself some space to come across. Put the check on, take up oh, on in the file. Crucial. Attacking two pawns. Oh, we can take this for free. King can't take it back. Oh, that was a panic move. They're going to resign now. I must remember to go back and have a look at that continuation they put in. Because I'm sure I must have made a boo-boo. We were a piece up and then I got it back. Alright. Okay, so we can trade down now. Let's hit the rook. I might not want to play ball. Rooks in the centre of the board don't have any place, so it's probably skedaddling somewhere, but it's not going to go very far. Okay, so he's attacking. He's pushed the pot. I could have taken him. Doubled his pawns. <laughs> he's just realised. <laughs> oh, dear me. That's something I've got to stop doing, though. Genuinely. When I'm focusing and then going for simple things like that, 
I need to have a look at what move the opponent has made and then make my move. I've fallen foul of it too many times. It's take. He can't save the other pawn, so he has to move the pawn. He's not doing that. But we can take and push up. Push. I think they've given up now. Analysis, analysis, don't forget. <laughs> and White left the game after 18 minutes. Disgusting. It's just simply resign. So rude. Take a quick look at this um, game because I'm still a bit confused about the move order of things. And so they took with the knight here. We thought they were going to take here. Then we took back. So this was pretty straightforward. Then we, we realized that we were like a, a minor piece up. So the queen came down, still showing as minus 3.3, so it's advantageous. We castled, so no problems there. The rook comes down, still no problems there. Queen moves out of the way. They actually take, still a bit of an advantage, so nothing major. And it doesn't like the pawn push up. It's saying bring the knight across. Now, you know, my brain was just thinking, well, don't they not have the check on the king and... You know, but it's showing minus three here. So this might be a learning thing for me because we might get in this situation again, something like this. So the rook takes, it's got a check on. It's not a checkmate, but it's a check. And then we move out the way and it's basically saying take. And then we take. Queen puts another check on. King moves out the way. And we had plenty of time to be able to see this, but... I just I instantly just threw that out of the way. I'm thinking, well, no, he's getting a check on my king. But I didn't look further than that, did I? Because it wasn't the queen in front, so it wasn't a checkmate. So there was a bit of dancing to be done. So it's saying the queen come here. Knight blocking, or you could go, well, you can't go for the exchange because you get the knight. So bring the knight blocking. And then it's all fancy dancing after that point. Man, so simple when you see it like that. 